$20,000. You ready, Terry? Let's do it. 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock is going to start after I read the first question. Be a Marine. Name one word to describe your mattress that could also describe someone's body. Soft. Name an animal that has a long tail. Tiger. Name a sport that requires great stamina. Football. How long does a box of cookies last in your home? One day. Name something that could get a five-star rating. A movie. Let's go, Terry. Let's see what we got, Terry. We got them all, baby. Let's go. I asked you to name one word to describe your mattress that could also describe someone's body. You said? Soft. Survey said. 28. That's a good one. I asked you to name an animal that has a long tail. You said? A tiger. Survey said. I asked you to name a sport that requires great stamina. You said? Football, and that it does. Survey says? 20. All right. I asked you, how long does a box of cookies last in your home? You said? Just one day, baby. Survey said? Eight. Then I said, name something that could get a five-star rating. You said? A movie. Survey said? 18, 81. You can still make it. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Let's clear the board and bring out Sean. See what we come up with. Sean, here's the situation. Terry got 81 points. All you need is 119. You're a good player. Thank you. Didn't I tell you that earlier? You did. You're a good player. Watch what I tell you. You're now a good I'm gonna host. I'm say that again. You're a good host, Tom. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're the first, con okay. the first contestant to say that. Everybody else is looking for the other guy. <laughs> I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answer. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'm going to say try again. You're going to give me another answer, OK? okay. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, Sean, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. Are you ready? All right, let's remind everyone about, of Terry's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name one word to describe your mattress that could also describe someone's body. Hard. Name an animal that has a long tail. Monkey. Name a sport that requires great stamina. Running. How long does a box of cookies last in your home? A day. <laughs> Try again. A week. Name something that could get a five-star rating. A hotel. <laughs> you a bad girl. Them some good answers there. Let's turn around, Sean. You are a good player. I like those answers. I said, name one word to describe your mattress that could also describe someone's body. You said, hard. Survey said. 12. The number one answer, firm. I said, name an animal that has a long tail. You said, monkey. Survey said, 24. Number one answer, monkey. Yeah. Name a sport that requires great stamina. You said, running. Survey said, 28. Look at you, girl. The number one answer was running. Yeah. This woman here. I said, how long does a box of cookies last in your home? You said, one week. Survey said. Yeah. The number one answer was one week. Yeah. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. You gave the number one answer three times in a row. You've got a total of 180 points. I said, name something that could get a five-star rating. You said, a hotel. You need 20 points. Survey said. Good 
man. You got, I got you real. You relax, man. We're going to win this money. Okay, you ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name a sport in which spectators become hushed while the players play. Golf. If your body could talk, what would it tell you to do? Lose weight. Tell me something you feel you'll never pay off. My mortgage. Name the time most people wake up in the morning. 6 a.m. Name something that clears up. The weather. Huh? Oh, hell, I'm, I'm so excited, I forgot what the hell to do. Hey, hey, I'm sitting here going, I'm sitting here going, why is he standing there? Let's turn around and see how you did, man. I gotta tell you, man, you surprised me. You played the game good, man. Oh, thanks. Let's go see what I said. Name a sport in which spectators become hushed while the players play. You said golf. Survey said. I said, if your body could talk, what would it tell you to do? You said, lose weight. Survey said, I said, tell me something you fear you'll never pay off. You said, mortgage. Survey said, this guy. This guy. This dude right here. This dude right here. I said, what is the time that most people wake up in the morning? You said, 6 a.m. Survey said, I <laughs> said, name something that clears up. You said, the weather survey said. Jasmine, your father, he has put up the most points I've ever seen. Your father. Hey. You have any idea what he scored? He's a beast. 199. No, not 199. Oh. That is that smart. That is 199. We wouldn't even bring you out here. 193. Your daddy got 176. Oh. That's a huge. You need 24 points to win. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'll say try again. You give me another answer. It's going to be a little tougher this time, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's remind everyone of Gerald's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Don't take it for granted. Let's just stay focused. Easy. Let's answer these questions. Let's win some money. Okay. Here we go. Name a sport in which spectators become hushed while the players play. Golf. Try again. Pass. If your body could talk, what would it tell you to do? Lose weight. Try again. Eat. Tell me something you feel you'll never pay off. College loans. Name the time most people wake up in the morning. Seven. Name something that clears up. Cold. Name a sport in which spectators become hushed while the players play. Bowling. Bowling. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. That's the truth. Let's go. Your father is amazing. You are 24 points from $20,000. Name a sport in which spectators become hushed while the players play. You said... Bowling survey said... Number one answer, golf. If your body could talk, what would it tell you to do? You said, eat. If 24 points are there, we got money. Survey said. Aww. Number one answer was lose weight. Tell me something you feel you'll never pay off. You said, College loan, that's a good answer. Come on now. Survey said. <laughs> Number one answer was mortgage. 
Name the time most people wake up in the morning. You are 12 points away. You said 7 a.m. Survey said. You ready? I'm ready. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. We ask 100 married people, on a scale of 1 to 10, how romantic is your spouse? Five. Name a food that's red. Jello. Give me something that starts with the word artificial. Artificial in possession. <laughs> oh, name an article of clothing of which you only own one. Uh, Jacket. Tell me, tell, tell me the name of the month you use your air conditioner the most. Uh, July. Yeah, we'll take that one, because I, I bobbled it. We'll take that. Come on, we'll go. All right, Miss Helen. We asked 100 married people on a scale of 1 to 10, how romantic is your spouse? You said 5. Survey said. Okay. I said, name a food that's red. You said Jello. Survey said. Oh, I'll do a little more now. I said, give me something that starts with the word artificial. You said... <laughs> oh, that's what you said? That's what I said. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Miss Helen. I have six kids. Miss <laughs> 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 Helen said artificial insemination. <laughs> wow. Survey said... That was stunning. <laughs> Name an article of clothing of which you only own one. You said? Jacket, survey said. Right. Hey, look at you. I said, tell me the month when you use your air conditioner most. You said? July, survey said. Man, your mom came out here and did her thing. She put 102 points on the board. Good job, mom. All you need, Rich, is 98 points. That's right. We're going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'll say try again. You give me another answer, OK? Going to be a little tougher this time, Rich, right. so we're going to give you 25 seconds. All right? You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everyone of Miss Helen's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. We ask 100 married people on a scale of 1 to 10, how romantic is your spouse? 10. Name a food that's red. Uh, apple. Give me something that starts with the word artificial. Artificial inseminated. <laughs> um, artificial food coloring. Name an article of clothing of which you only own one. Pass. Tell me the month when you use your air conditioner the most. August. Name an article of clothing of which you only own one. Hat. Hat. Okay. Come on, man. You got a shot. We ask 100 married people on a scale of 1 to 10, how romantic is your spouse? You said 10. You're having a blast at Charles' house, baby. <laughs> Survey said. Good answer, man. The number one answer was eight. Eight. Okay. Name a food that's red. You said <laughs> apples. Survey said. <laughs> Look at you, man. <laughs> apples was the number one answer. You said, I said, give me something that starts with the word artificial. <laughs> uh, unbelievable, you said the same thing <laughs> that your mother said. <laughs> and then you said <laughs> food coloring. Survey said. Number one answer was sweetener. Sweetener. Then I said, name an article of clothing of which you only own one. You said? A hat. Survey said? Nine. The number one answer was coat. You need 34 points 
I asked you to tell me the month when you use your air conditioner the most. You said August. Survey says... Win this money, okay? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name something a person might forget to put on if they leave the house in a hurry. Deodorant. Name something you need to make a smoothie. Fruit. Tell me the age when a boy starts going through puberty. 13. Name a U.S. state that you're not sure how to spell. Nebraska. Name a material used to make sexy lingerie. Lace. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's see what we got. Okay. You did okay. I said, name something a person might forget to put on if they leave the house in a hurry. You said... Deodorant. Survey said... <laughs> name something you need to make a smoothie. You said... Fruit. Survey said... 30. That's the way to go. I said, tell me the age when a boy starts going through puberty. You said? 13, survey said. Yeah, you're making a comeback. I said, name a U.S. state that you're not sure how to spell. You said? Nebraska. Survey said? I said, to name a material used to make sexy lingerie. You said? Lace. I said, yeah. Survey said? 21, you got them halfway there. Good job. Let's clear the board. Let's bring out the man, Lele. Lele? What's going on? Lele, how, how you doing, doing man? man? I'm all right. What I'm do you do, man? I just started my own video production company. Okay, cool. That's why I'm here to get this money. I need some oh, equipment. You need <laughs> I need some equipment, man. I need some equipment, man. You need that 20000 Yes, sir. Help That's what I need. some equipment. Yes, sir. Okay, I got you. I understand. I got your back. I got your back. <laughs> got your back. Uh -huh. Bring this it on boy in. right here plays this game. Hey, man. How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. We're going to get this money for this video oh, yeah. business. That's what you're here for, right? That's the only thing I'm here for. <laughs> Cinderia is your cousin? Cousin. She got you almost halfway there, man. She okay. put up 95 points. Cool, okay. You need five. All right, Leland, I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answer. If you do, you are going to hear this sound. I'm gonna say try again. You're gonna give me another answer, okay? Okay. All right, it's gonna be tougher this time, Leland, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's remind everyone of Sindaria's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. You can do this, man. Yes, sir. Uh, the clock will start after I read the first question. Cool. Okay? Here we go. Name something a person might forget to put on if they leave the house in a hurry. Uh, makeup. Name something you need to make a smoothie. Ice cream. Tell me the age when a boy starts going through puberty. Twelve. Name a U.S. state that you're not sure how to spell. Vermont. Name a material used to make sexy lingerie. Lace. <laughs> Try again. Uh, silk. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. 20,000. Come on, baby. We need this, man. We got some good stuff. Let's see what we did. I asked you to name something a person might forget to put on if they leave the house in a hurry. You said... Makeup. Survey said. Okay. okay. Number one answer was jacket or coat. Okay. Then I said, name something you need to make a smoothie. <coughs> Ice cream, survey said. Okay. 23. Okay. The number one answer was fruit. Okay, that's true. Cool. I said, tell me the age when a boy starts going through puberty. You said? 12, survey said. Okay. 34, man. The number one answer was 13. I said, the name of state that you're not sure how to spell. You said? Vermont. Survey said, come on. Yeah, it's probably Mississippi, Tennessee, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Number one answer was Massachusetts. Oh, dang. Come on. You're 43 points away. 
We can get it. I said, name a material used to make sexy lingerie. You said <laughs> silk. 43 points to get to the money, man. Survey said. <laughs> <laughs> $20,870. Oh, man. All right, you ready? Yeah. Take your time. Take a couple deep breaths. We can do this, okay? okay? All right. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Okay, Kim, the clock will start after I read the first question. Name a part of a man's body you'd be shocked to find hair plugs. His chest. How old is old for a dog? Uh, 10 years. Name something often pictured on a Christmas card. A Christmas tree. Name something a soldier has to keep neat and clean. Um, his barracks. Name a sport that really gets the fans into a frenzy. Uh, hockey. Okay, all right. Here we go, let's go. We got a shot here, some good stuff up here. I said, name a part of a man's body you'd be shocked to find hair plugs. You said, his chest, survey said. 35, look at you, girl. I said, how old is old for a dog? You said, 10 years. Survey said, 21. Uh-huh. I said, name something often pictured on Christmas cards. You said, a Christmas tree. Survey said, look at you, 20. I said, name something a soldier has to keep neat and clean. You said, his barracks. Survey said, look at you. <laughs> And I said, name a sport that really gets fans into a frenzy. You said, hockey. Survey said, you all right. No, no, you fine. You are fine. You are fine. Let's clear the board. Because I got some good news for you. Your mom, Kim, came out here and put 111 points up. Let's go. Good job, okay. huh? You need 89 to win, OK? Uh, I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. I'm gonna say try again. You'll give me another answer. It's gonna be a little bit tougher, Carl, so we're gonna put... We're gonna give you 25 seconds, okay? Let's remind everyone of Kim's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name a part of a man's body you'd be shocked to find hair plugs. It's back. How old is old for a dog? 10. Mm -hmm. Try again. Seven. Name something often pictured on Christmas cards. Trees. Mm -hmm. Try again. Snow. Name something the soldier has to keep neat and clean. His, his boots. Yes. Name a sport that really gets fans into a frenzy. Football. Come on, boy. <laughs> I like the call. Like Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's see what we're doing here. I said, to name a part of a man's body, you'd be shocked to find hair plugs. You said, his back. Survey said, 15. <laughs> Number one answer was chest. I said, how old is old for a dog? You said, seven. Survey said, six. Number one answer was 15. Ooh. Name something often pictured on Christmas cards. You said, snow. Survey said, 15. Number one answer was Santa Claus. I said, name something a soldier has to keep neat and clean. You said his boots. Survey said. <laughs> boots was the number one answer. I asked you then, Name a sport that really gets the fans into a frenzy. You said football. Our survey says... You gonna get your money, boy. You gonna get your money, man. Yeah! Yeah, I like that. I like that, boy. What I told you, D? I like that. Get your money, Carl. Get your money. Get your money, Nico. I told you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. 
20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. We ask 100 married men, how many times today did you tell your wife you loved her? One. Name something babies love to throw. Tantrums. Name something you'd see at a rodeo. Horse. Name something people eat at a barbecue. Chicken. Name something people wash with a sponge. Dishes. Wow. Wow. Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. We asked 100 married men, how many times today did you tell your wife you loved her? You said? Once. Survey said? I said, name something babies love to throw. You said? Tantrums. Survey said? I said, name something you see at a rodeo. You said? Horse. Survey said? I said, name something people eat at a barbecue. You said? Chicken. Survey said? Wow. I said, name something people wash with a sponge. You said? Dishes. Survey said? Wow. Easy. You keep running out here. You just I'm had excited. the baby, but I hey, do. don't run. Okay. Guess what Amina did? She gave you 137 points. <laughs> you need 63 points, <laughs> and you're gonna win $20,000. You can do this. Stay focused, calm down, relax. I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. <sighs> you cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. <laughs> I'm gonna say try again. You're gonna give me another answer. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be tougher this time, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds, okay? Are okay. you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everyone of Amina's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. We asked 100 married men, how many times today did you tell your wife you loved her? One. Try again. None. Name something babies love to throw. Pacifier. Name something you'd see at a rodeo. A bull. Name something people eat at a barbecue. Barbecue chicken. Try again. Potato salad. Name something people wash with a sponge. A car. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. We asked 100 married men, how many times today did you tell your wife you loved her? You said? None. <laughs> Survey said. Oh! 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 He tells me ten times though. He tells me ten. I know he, he does. Me ten times He's a, a good day. man. At least, at the least. number one answer was one. Okay. Then I said, name something babies love to throw. You said. <laughs> the pacifier. Survey said. Oh. Number one answer was toys, ball, oh. rattle. I said, name something you see at a rodeo. You need 36 points. You said? A bull. Survey said? <laughs> Number one answer was horse. You are four points away. I said, name something people eat at a barbecue. You said? Potato salad. Survey said. Oh my God! Get out of the number one answer was ribs. Come on, Salima. We Come need on. four points. <laughs> Name something people wash with a sponge. You said a car. Survey said. <laughs> All right, Greg, your son Kyle is off stage. He can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass, and if we have enough time, we'll get back to it again. And then if you and your son 
put it together and come up with 200 points. Look in the camera. Tell everybody what you're going to win. $20,000. And I want you to say it just like that, folks. $20,000. Because you got to bite down on it. You ready? I am. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Clock's going to start after I read the first question. Win this money, Greg. Name something people worry they won't have enough money for. College. Kids college. Out of 10 married women, how many are faithful? Five. Name a complaint parents might have about a big theme park. Too noisy. Name something seen at bullfights. Blood. Name something people pay to have straightened. Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have said anything else, I'd have slapped you in your mouth. <laughs> Come on, Greg. Let's see what we did. Come on, man. Here we go. Let's see how we did. I said, name something people worry they won't have enough money for. You said? Kids College survey said. Good answer. <laughs> Out of 10 married women, how many are faithful? You said? Five. You've obviously been hurt before. <laughs> survey said? <laughs> 12. Wow. I said, name a complaint parents might have about a big theme park. You said. The noise. Survey said. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Name something seen at bullfights. You said. Blood. Every last one of them. Survey said. Wow. I thought that would be bigger. Name something people pay to have straightened. You said. Without a doubt. Their teeth. Survey said. Wow, there you go. You, that, that'll save you. That'll save you. Let's clear the board. Let's bring out Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Let's get it, man. Your dad put up 82 points. You need 118 to right. walk. This All is right. very doable, though. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answer. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'll say try again. You give me another answer. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, Kyle, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? Good. Let's remind everyone of Greg's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name something people worry they won't have enough money for. House. Out of 10 married women, how many are faithful? Eight. Name a complaint parents might have about a big theme park. Lines. Name something seen at bullfights. A red cape. Name something people pay to have straightened. Their hair. Bam! Yeah. 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 Played the game well, man. You had enough different answers, man. Let's see how we did. Name something people worry they won't have enough money for. You said? A house. Survey said. I thought that would be bigger. Number one answer was retirement. Shoot. Out of 10 married women, how many are faithful? You said? Eight. Survey said? Bam. Eight was the number one answer. I said, name a complaint parents might have about a big theme park. You said? Lines. Survey said? Oh. Lines was the number one answer. Name something seen at bullfights. You said? Red cape. Survey said? Oh. Number one answer? Bulls. <laughs> My man, we are 31 points away. I said name something people pay to have straightened. You said? How? Uh, if 31 people said it, you got $20,000. Survey said... <laughs> That's a win, man. That's a win right there. The number one answer was hair. Hair was the number one answer. Oh, $20,000. And they're coming back. You ready? 20 seconds on the clock, please. 
Hey, listen, Christy, sure. I really want you to win the money. I, me too. I really, really pulling for this <laughs> family. Me, Come on too. now. Clock Thank will you. start after I read the first question. How many times a year does a wife hear her husband's favorite joke? Five. Name something people open in the morning and close at night. Their bedroom door. Name a food New York is famous for. Hot dogs. Name something people do without having to think about it. Breathe. Name a burger chain. Burger King. I like your chances. Man, I'm pulling for this family right here. I'm telling you. How many times a year does a wife hear her husband's favorite joke? You said five times. Survey said. Yeah. Wow, that's a good number. <laughs> Name something people open in the morning and close at night. You said bedroom door. Survey said. Yeah. That's a good number. Name a food New York is famous for. You said. Hot dog, survey said. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Said, name something people do without having to think about it. You said, they breathe, survey said. Whoa, that's a good one. I said, name a burger chain. You said, my friends at Burger King, survey said. Wow. Wow. Sherry, we have a good shot here. Christy put up 135 points. <laughs> you need 65 points to win. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answer. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. Uh -huh. I'll say try again. You give me another answer. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit tougher, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's remind everyone of Christy's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. How many times a year does a wife have to hear her husband's favorite joke? 20. Name something people open in the morning and close at night. Their shades. Name a food New York is famous for. Uh, pizza. Name something people do without having to think about it. Uh, comb their hair. Name a burger chain. Burger King. Try again. McDonald's. <laughs> Miss Sherry, I like that. Let's go. How many times a year does a wife have to hear her husband's favorite joke? You said 20 times. Survey said. That's a good number. 10 was the number one answer. Name something people open in the morning and close at night. You said, the shade survey said. Aww. Number one answer was blinds. I said, name a food New York is famous for. You said, pizza survey said. <laughs> Number one answer was hot dogs. You are 29 points away. We said, name something people do without having to think about it. You said, comb their hair. Survey said, Aww. number one answer was breathe. We are 29 points away from $20,000. I said, name a burger chain. You said, McDonald's. Survey said. Man. 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 Number one answer was Burger King. Burger King was no way. We got it, man. All right. You ready? Okay, 20 seconds on the clock, please. Okay, the clock will start after I read the first question, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go. In what grade does a child's homework become too difficult for the parents? Third grade. Name something served along with the restaurant sandwich. Uh, chips. Name something you might wear a pair of. Gloves. Name a part of their bodies that men get waxed. Their back. Name something specific that strays. 
a dog. Yeah. 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 Bring it on. Bring it on. Watch it. Watch it. That means something else where I'm from. All right, here we go. In what grade does a child's homework become too difficult for the parents, you said? Third grade. Your kid can't ask you nothing. <laughs> Survey says... <laughs> six. Nice. I asked you to name something served along with a restaurant sandwich. You said... <laughs> chips. Survey said... Nice. 31. That's a good answer. Good answer. I said name something you might wear a pair of. You said... <laughs> gloves. Survey says... Oh. Wow. Right, right. Right. Wow, that should have got something, seemed like. I said, name a part of their bodies that men get waxed. You said... <laughs> that <laughs> survey says... <laughs> name something specific that strays. You said... <laughs> Dog. Survey says... <laughs> 33, whoa! <laughs> Your sister-in-law got 112 points. All you got to do is get 88, man. It's a big family feud moment, man. <laughs> okay? Here we go. All right, listen, man. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. Mm. I'll say try again. You'll give me another answer. Are okay. you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everyone of Trisha's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock is going to start after I read the first question. In what grade does a child's homework become too difficult for the parents? Seventh. Name something served along with a restaurant sandwich. Uh, Coke. Name something you might wear a pair of. Uh, pants. Name a part of their bodies that men get waxed. Uh, their back. <laughs> Try again. Uh, their, their chest. Name something specific that strays. A dog. <laughs> Try again. A cat. Well, right. some good answers up there. Yeah. We could do this. Let's see. I asked you, what grade does a child's homework become too difficult for the parents? You said... <laughs> seventh. Survey said... <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> the number one answer was the ninth grade. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. That's so not true. This it, homework has gotten really difficult. Junior high school. Yeah, wow. I'll tell you. I asked you, name something served along with the restaurant sandwich? <laughs> Coke. Survey set. <laughs> Ten. I asked you to name something you might wear a pair of. Pair of pants. Pair of pants. Survey set. Fourteen. Fourteen. Mm. The number one answer was shoes mm. and a boot. And the number one answer, uh, something served along with the restaurant sandwich, French fries. French fries. I then asked you to name a part of their bodies that men get waxed. Chest. Survey said... Ooh. 27. <laughs> Back was the number one answer. Nice, Dino. You only need 24 points for the win. I asked you to name something specific that strays. You said a cat. <laughs> cat was the number one answer. <laughs> Okay, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. We asked 100 men, name a part of your body that's bigger than it was when you were 16. Chess. Name a word that starts with para. Para... Para-educator. Name a kind of knife. Uh, paring knife. 
Name something you'd see on a football field during a game. A ball. Name a food that often gets judged at a state fair. Pumpkins. Great. Yeah. Great. It's okay. We're, we're gonna get through this. As 100 men, name a part of your body that's bigger than it was when you were 16. You said? Chest, survey said. Then I said, name a word that starts with para. You said? Paraeducator. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> survey says? Oh. Wow. You got more time. You got more. Then we said, name a kind of knife. You said? Paring knife. Survey said? Then I said, name something you see on a football field during a game. You said? Ball. Survey said? 15. Name a food that often gets judged at a state fair. You said? Pumpkin. Survey said? That's okay. Let's clear the board. Bring out Cecily. Cecily, good to see you. Uh, your sister, Tanya, she put up 23 points. <laughs> Hands on your hip, through with her. That's the bad news. Here's the good news. You need 177 points. You need just about everything there is to get. But guess what? You can make it happen. I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. You will not hear that sound this round right here. Don't even worry about that. Trust me, you won't hear that sound. We could have just slid right through that one right there. Because if you hear that sound right there, I'm diving in the crowd. Okay. Uh, are you ready? All right, let's remind everyone of Tanya's answers. Uh, your 25 seconds on the clock, please. Your clock will start after I read the first question. We ask 100 men, name a part of your body that's bigger than it was when you were 16. Your penis. Not so good. <laughs> I said the medical terminology. I don't care what you said. <laughs> Could have said ding ling, winky, any damn thing. What the hell? It ain't gonna sound right. The medical term is almost worse. A slang term would at least be your ding a ling something. <laughs> the penis! Oh. We're, gonna, we're keeping that answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Name a word that starts with para. Paralegal. Name a kind of knife. A, a steak knife. Name something you'd see on a football field during a game. A goalie. Name a food that often gets judged at a state fair. Pie. What? Yeah, look at her answers. <laughs> you think you think that's shocking? <laughs> Where do you see this first one? <laughs> We asked 100 Ooh. men to name a part of your body that's bigger than it was than when you were 16. <laughs> you calmly said <laughs> that. <laughs> Survey says? <laughs> Number one answer was stomach. All right. Stomach. That was close in the area. 
If your stomach is that big, you can't see it anyway. <laughs> then I said, name a word that starts with para. You said, paralegal. Survey said, the number one answer was paragraph. Oh. Then I said, name a kind of knife. You said, steak knife. Survey said, number one answer was butter. Butter knife. I said, name something you see on a football field during a game. You said, the goalie. No, I, I meant the goal. Yeah, I know, like, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. After number one, it doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> Looking for the goalie, survey says. <laughs> number one answer, right. football players. Oh, yeah. Then I said, name a food that often gets judged at a state fair. You said, Pie. The one. Pie number was one the number one what? answer. All we need is 100... 156 people. We can do that. Yes, we can. We Survey can. says uh, oh. 83 points. $415. <laughs> <laughs>